I will show you how you can create an Instagram DM automation so that each time someone comments a specific word, we automatically send them a DM and turn them into a lead. And I've used this strategy to generate over thousands of leads and sales for my clients. So if you follow the same steps, you can get similar results and you will get my template for free so that you can copy and paste it. Let's dive in. So here's what we will create in this video. We will start by giving away something for free. So this could be a free ebook, a free checklist, a free video. It doesn't really matter as long as it solves a problem of your audience. And then in your Instagram post, you can say something like, okay, comment ebook below and I will send over a free copy in your DMs. And then whenever someone comments, two things happen. One, we automatically reply to that comment with another comment. And then two, we send them an automatic DM. And then inside that DM conversation, what we do is that we first confirm the interest in the freebie. Then we ask for their name, we ask for their email, and then we deliver the freebie all inside the DMs. And then whenever someone doesn't reply to any of our questions, we can send automatic reminders as well. So before we'll create this, what kind of results can you expect from this? And with this funnel, what I usually see is that half of the people that comment also leave their name and email. So this is a 50% conversion rate. And just for context, an average landing page just converts at 5%. So this means that if you use this DM automation, instead of using a landing page, you can actually 10x your leads. So let's get started with creating this. And in order to create this funnel, we will use ManyChat. So ManyChat is one of the best Instagram DM automation platforms on the market. And I use them all the time to create DM automations for my clients. And I use ManyChat because it's very easy to use. It is 100% meta approved and it's very cheap. They offer a free plan and their pro plan already starts at $15 a month. So what you can do, you can just go to the link in the description and here you will find my link and a discount code that will give you 30 days of the pro plan for free. And full disclaimer, this is an affiliate link. So if you pay ManyChat, I get a commission, but it doesn't have any influence on the price you pay. And it definitely helps me with creating free videos like these. So you can just go to the link in the description or you can just go to chatomize.com slash MC and this will bring you directly to the ManyChat website. And then here you can just click on get started and then click on Instagram and then you need to go with continue with Facebook. And once you do that, you basically need to connect your Instagram account to ManyChat. And I actually have a separate video on my YouTube channel that explains how you can connect your Instagram account to ManyChat step by step. So after you've watched this video, I highly recommend going to that video as well. So I would just click here on sign in because I already have a ManyChat account. So now I'm inside ManyChat and then here you can just go to automation and then normally you should click on new automation to get started with this. But I actually have a free template in my school community. So if you haven't joined yet, you can just do that with the link in the description. And then here you will ultimately come here and you can just sign up. Uh, it is free. You only have to answer a few questions. And then once you are in, you can basically go to the classroom then go to the ManyChat Masterclass Lite. And then here we have to launch your first funnel with ManyChat. And then here what you can do is click on ManyChat Lead Generation Template. So once you click on there, you can just click here on Install. And then you need to select the account you want to install this for. So in this case, I would go with Chatamize. And then here I click on Install Now. So now the template is installed. So if I go to Automation, then you will find a folder that is called Lead Generation Funnel. And then again, a folder with lead generation funnel. And then here you will find two automations. So one is for confirming the interest and two is basically for getting all the data and delivering the freebie, right? So let's start with the first one. So we can click here on edit automation. And in ManyChat, basically each automation starts with a trigger. In this case, we want to start the automation when someone comments on one of our posts with a specific word. And for this video, I'm going to use the example of giving away a content calendar. So we are going to give away a free content calendar to our audience. So we are going to say in our Instagram post, okay, comment with calendar below and I will send over a free copy in your DMs. So that's what we basically need to set up. So here we have two triggers. You can basically delete this DM trigger because we're not going to use that now. So here you can click on this and then you basically want to go with all posts. So you can basically need to specify whether you want to reply to a specific post or reel or to all post or reels. What I recommend is always replying to all post or reels because then you can just create one automation and then you reuse that across all of your posts and reels. So we go with all post or reels 
then here we want to set to what keywords we want to reply. So because we're saying, okay, comment with calendar below and I will send over a free copy. That's why we are going to put in here calendar. And then always you want to add some variations because it could be that people are misspelling this in any way or forgetting a letter. So what I will just do is I will also add calendar and I will also do if people forget the last letter. So then here we can click on continue. And then we have the public reply. So the public reply is the automatic comments reply in the comment section. And what you basically want to do here is you want to do two things. You want to excite people for the thing that they will be getting, which is in this case, the content calendar. And then two, you want to say to them that they need to go to the DMs in order to get it. So that's basically what we do. And I will just copy this from my second screen. So here we can, for example, say, can't wait for you to start with banger post. Please check your DMs and message requests. Then we can also say, awesome, I just sent you a DM with access to the calendar. Please check your message requests. And then boom, the free content calendar is in your DMs. Check your message requests as well. So what ManyChat will now do is it will randomly pick one of these replies for each and every comment so that it doesn't look spammy in the comment section. So here we can just click on save. So this is now set up correctly. And then here we need to set up this first message. And what's really important with this first message is that is set as sent as a comment reply. If this is not set to send as a comment reply, it will not work. So that's really important. And then I will just copy the, this first message from my second screen again. So here you basically, oh, you basically want to confirm the interest in the thing that they will be getting. So in this case, they will be getting a content calendar. So we can say something like, okay, looks like you're ready about to crush content on Instagram with my free content calendar. You will know exactly what to post and when to post for the next 30 days. Just click on the button below or reply with calendar to get instant access. And then here we basically have a quick reply, which is like a button where people can click on in the DMs. And if they do that, they basically go to our next automation that I just showed you before. And before we're going to that automation, I quickly want to tap into this part. So here we say, just click on the button below or reply with calendar. And the reason we say, or reply with calendar is because quick replies don't show up on Instagram desktop. So on average, 10% of the people that are on Instagram are on Instagram desktop. And on Instagram desktop, you cannot see this quick reply. So if someone is on desktop and you basically say, just click on the button below, they will be like, okay, where is that button? Because I cannot see it. And this is basically an Instagram limitation. So that's why we say, just click on the button below or reply with calendar so that if they are on desktop, they can basically reply to calendar and go to the next step. And if they are on mobile, they can basically just click the button, right? So that's basically the reason why we set this up. So I will click here on update. And then we'll go to our next flow, which is getting the information. So this flow basically starts when two things happen. Either they click on the quick reply or they send us calendar. So to make sure that it also triggers when people DM us calendar, we also need to add another trigger. So here we have the user sends a message trigger and we say if the message begins with calendar and then we also add some variations again. And then also with double quotes and sometimes people use single quotes. That's when we want to automatically reply. So if they DM us and the message begins with calendar or any of these variations, then we want to start this automation as well. So here we can then say, awesome, just a few quick steps to get you access. What is your first name? Just type in your first name below. So that's basically the next step is that we want to get their first name. And in ManyChat, we do that with a data collection element. So here, what we are using is a data collection element that you can just add over here. And what we do here is that we set the reply type to the first name. So if someone replies with something, we will automatically save it to the first name field in ManyChat. And that's basically it. But what we also can do is that if someone doesn't reply to this question, we can actually send them automatic reminders as well. And that's what we will set up now. So what you can do here is when you click on this, you can set the data collection expires to, for example, three minutes. Right. So what we will do here is we will wait for three minutes. If someone doesn't reply to this question within three minutes, we can send them an automatic reminder. So that's what we do here is we set the data collection expires to three minutes and then we can just copy this. So you can here click on duplicate and then here you connect the if contact has not responded to this next message. Right. So that's what we do. We can basically remove this. And then here we will add the copy for the second reminder. So this is the second reminder is like, you're just 
two small steps away from getting a full month of content. Just type in your first name below to get instant access to my free content calendar. And this is basically the first reminder that will be sent after three minutes. But what you now can also do is send another reminder after this reminder. So what we can do here is we can set the data collection expires to one hour. So we set this to one hour and then we can copy this and then send another reminder. So we can connect it and then we can send our last reminder. And in that case, we're just going to say, last reminder, you almost have access to my free content calendar. Just type in your first name below. And then what's important with this last reminder is that you set the data collection expires to 23 hours. And the reason why is this is important is that then people have 23 hours to basically reply to this last reminder. So how this works is we basically ask the question, if they don't reply, to this question within three minutes, we send this reminder. And if they don't reply to this reminder within one hour, we send this last reminder. And what's super important is that you also connect these two reminders to the next message. So what we do here is you can grab this, the next step, put it over here. And then here, put also this next step and put it over there. So whenever they reply to this message or this message or this message, they always go to the next step. And then here we say, nice to meet you first name. So if they, for example, reply with my name is Rob, then we say, nice to meet you, Rob. And you can use these values just by clicking here on the brackets and then selecting the first name or select a bracket on your keyboard and then it will open up as well. So basically the next step is that we say, okay, nice to meet you. And on what email do you want to receive your free content calendar? Just type in your email below. So again, we are using a data collection element here, but the difference here is that the reply type is email. And by setting the reply type to email, ManyChat will automatically check if the given email actually looks like an email. So if they don't reply with an email, what we do is we automatically send them this message, which says it looks like this isn't the correct email. Could you enter a correct one? And what we can do here as well is we can send also those reminders. So after three minutes, we also can send them a reminder with, hey, did you forget anything? So again, we will just copy this message, connect the if contact has not responded, then remove this, and then I will add the text for this next reminder. Is you're just one small step away from getting a full month of content. Just type in your email below to get instant access to my free content calendar. And then again, we will set here the data collection expires to one hour and then we will send them another reminder. So we'll do that over here, connect them to each other. And then basically we have the last reminder, which says, last reminder, you almost have access to my free content calendar. Just type in your email below. And then again, it's important that you set this to 23 hours, right? So we basically do the same thing. Like we, we ask for their email. If they don't reply within three minutes, we send them this reminder. If they don't reply within one hour, we send them this reminder. Right, so we connect them to all of the last message. And before we're going to do this last message, there's just one thing I want to say about reminders. With reminders, it's always a kind of balance between being annoying and reminding people. And it's just true that if you add more reminders, eventually more people will give their name and email, but it can also be really annoying. So it's always a kind of balance. With most of my clients, I send at least two reminders. I also have clients we send even three, four, or five. It basically depends on what you're comfortable with, but also what you think your audience will find it. Like if they find it very annoying, it's maybe better to use less reminders than more. So that's on reminders. We basically connected all of that. And then we have our last message where we're going to deliver our three things. So in this case, I will just copy this again from a second screen. We can just say something like, you're all set first name. Can't wait for you to crush it with content on Instagram. Just click the button below to get instant access. And then here we can say access calendar. And then here, when this button is pressed, it will go to a website. So in this case, it will go to my own website, but you can also basically connect it to your own website or where you have hosted your content calendar. It could be Google Drive, could be a website, could be basically anything. So here we can just basically click here on done and then click on update. And then this is all working, right? So I'll just basically go back here and basically explain it step by step. So what now happens is that anytime someone comments with calendar, we send them this message. Then if they reply with calendar or if they're, they click on this quick reply, they go to the next step and then they get another message with awesome, just a few quick steps. What is your name? If they don't reply to this within three minutes, reminder, 
if they don't reply to this reminder within one hour, another reminder. And then we do the same thing for email. So we ask for their email. If they don't reply, another reminder. If they don't reply within one hour, we send them this reminder. And then lastly, we say, you're all set first name. Can't wait for you to crush it with content on Instagram. Just click the button below to get instant access. And before I'm going to show you how this works on Instagram, there's actually one extra thing that you can do. So whenever you get someone's email in ManyChat, you can automatically send it to your email marketing platform or CRM as well. So you can do that by going to the settings here and then going to integrations. And then here you will see all the integrations that ManyChat has. So they have, for example, Google Sheets, they have Hotmart, they have DeepSeek, they have Clavio, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp. And what you can do is you can basically connect your account, for example, to MailChimp. And then whenever you have done that, you can basically add here an action at the end of your automation, go with MailChimp, and then click here on add contact to a list and then basically select the email field and select this specific MailChimp list. And this works in a similar way for all of the other integrations, for example, for active campaign, when you connect it, it works in a similar way. So that's basically how you set it up. So let me show you how this works on Instagram. So now I'm on Instagram and then if I go to any of my posts, then I can reply to this with calendar. Then I get an automatic DM. It looks like you're about to crush content on Instagram. With my free content calendar, you will know exactly what to post. Just click on the button below or reply with calendar. So I click on this button. And then it says, awesome. Just a few quick steps to get you access. What is your first name? So then I just type in my first name. It says, nice to meet you, Joran. And what email do you want to receive your free content calendar? So I reply with my email. And then it says, you're all set, Joran. Can't wait for you to crush it with content on Instagram. Just click the button below to get instant access. And then when you click on this button, that will go to my website. And that's how you create an Instagram DM automation that brings in leads 24 seven. So if you want to copy this exact same setup, you should join my school community and grab my free template. And if you're ready to go even deeper, you should watch this next video where I show how we use this system to get over two and a half thousand leads with a simple six page ebook.